Good evening everyone, this is Dale Hunter. Um, due to some requests, I decided to oblige and make this tutorial video for anyone who is interested about my setup. So for starters, I'm going to start with the keyboard setup I have. Uh, I'm using a Logitech G19. So this is the keybinds I'm using inside the game. As you can see, these six keys are designated for fast audio responses inside the game using V uh, small macros. These are for outfit recruitment, uh, just for fast writing also. These are for in-game chat system, uh, voice chat system. So yeah, there's not much to go around. Uh, it's nothing that sets the DPI on the mouse or something. So yeah, moving on to mouse settings. I'm using a Logitech G700 for the mouse and well, not the general, I'm going gaming hmm, actually yeah yeah, this is it <laughs> first person shooter, this is it. the other one is just for EVE Online actually, was it for EVE Online? I don't know, no the other one is just default yeah, uh, in this setup I have like the mouse settings go for the numpads which I assign for different commands for instance this one is for deploying flares this one is for uh, I forgot actually I, I cannot actually recall what this one is for so yeah this one is for second seat, this one is for first seat uh, these ones are like this goes like platoon squad proximity. Yeah, this one is also in game, but these two are basically for team speak. So I have the DPI loop, which I will cover. Uh, my DPI settings are for like I can quickly switch between the like my general gameplay is at these settings, but I can uh, switch to these ones for like precision. But I often don't switch the precision. Uh, it's very rare that I use the second DPI option. So yeah, these are my mouse and keyboard settings. In game, they are a little bit different. I will go on to them right now. Hmm. Okay, that. Hello everyone. Uh, this is Dev Hunter. In this video, I will be presenting a little bit about flying and as you can see I have a couple of different uh, windows set up I mean camera set up so that you guys can catch the action of what I'm what I'm doing so this is a tutorial video not a combat video I will not be doing any combat in this video well, at least that's the plan so uh, as you can see, I'm. This is basic maneuvers. <laughs> so, uh, to start with the fitting. Actually, I'm gonna start with the key bindings. Okay, not. Nothing interesting in the key bindings, actually. Uh, vehicle sensitivity, these are 0 0.3, 0 0.3, 0 0.5. I don't know why you people want this information, but yeah. I would recommend doing this uh, however it feels comfortable. But yeah, it's up to you. So, yeah, uh, going on to the fitting. Let's see. Uh, <laughs> yeah, there we go. Okay, so I'm using a Hailstorm Turbo Laser and dual pods. Dual bottom pods. Yeah, I'm going for infrared and maximum ammo reload speed. I haven't inserted much into them. But yeah, uh, ammunition, zoom, magazine size. Magazine size I prefer because reload compared to magazine. Magazine just means that I can fire longer till I have to like k take a break from the shooting. Reload is good for inf fighting against infantry. You can just zoom in. You, I just constantly switch between the night vision so you can uh, distinguish where is the enemy and then I just switch to the main gun and zoom in. So, uh, perfect. I used to go for dogfighting, but I don't anymore. Anymore, as in, uh, I prefer the racer. 
not because it's more comfortable during a dogfight, it's actually terrible in a dogfight because you cannot turn fast and that gives you a huge disadvantage but only reason I'm using racer is because I kind of love, love flying fast and I that's generally the reason I play it to fly and not for the kills anyhow so accident timer yes I crash a lot so I invest on the timer <laughs> uh, decoy flares uh, not very needed when you're flying that low but when enemy fighters are around you will probably need that and for the composite armor because why not some people are going with stealth but I don't like stealth and I don't like pilots who use stealth mainly because you don't I'm not sure if it's that reason but you don't appear in the allies minimap that's kind of like an issue when you're flying low and other sites are also flying low around you should tend to happen so um, as for the lecture of this video I'm gonna show you how to fly in reverse so what you need to do is pr you need you often press S and then you press space that will give you like this kind of movement this kind of upwards movement you press space because it's I, don't know, I guess you can also press space but pressing space will give you just more momentum towards the direction you are flowing towards especially when you are flipping to the sides and while well, that's the issue just go ahead and while reversing give a thruster boost as you can see it propelled me to us forward but for there for a moment I was going directly up so you want to combine those that motion with moving your nose down so what happens is that this as you can see I'm flying backwards and you can use this in several advantages you can use it to gain an advantage in a dogfight or you can use it as a way of just being able to hover over a target Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Anyhow, ah, sorry about the video. Okay, so uh, hovering over a target while using this method, it can come in handy, especially when your target is in an open field and you want to like if it's a tank you don't want to go down his level because it will shoot you basically so what you do is for instance I say that this liberator is the enemy what I do is I just basically try to hover it while raining down my rockets of course I can use the boost to give me an advantage like this and while I'm reloading I'll give a little bit more push keep in mind I'm constantly moving so I'm also circling because of the enemy can fire unguided missiles I guess they send guided missiles I just use my flares and that gives buys me like depending on the terrain uh, in, if you're in the open terrain uh, I would recommend you bugger off but if you have like places you can hide behind and break their line of sight so that you know that uh, they won't be able to lock onto you and if, and if they lock onto you the missiles will hit the ground or the ob object rather than you so that buys you anywhere from a few seconds to even 10 seconds and if you have like if you are using a combination of hit run tactics uh, it will and certain the uh, flares to 25 seconds that's gonna give you enough time to right, like circle back around and come back so uh, this is actually it I mean much of it comes as an instant when we are at some point flying like this movement is useful when you are like zoomed in, focused on a target but 
like analyzing the situation you just hover over it and just turn your fighter around so, oh again the main point is that you always move around so yeah uh, that's about it one, uh, one thing I can say is like let's say you are fighting actually I'm gonna go ahead and find a fight for us so how you can use this uh, method is that let's say that when you are fighting you can if the enemy is more agile than you and you want to get to see where they are just do the reverse flying you will basically get a, a bird's eye view of the area this will help you to uh, find the location of the enemy and preferably give you an advantage also it it has the element of surprise so most people don't know this movement but uh, it's not really anything like out of ordinary I mean it's just the way the lateral thrusters work so you just apply them and give the boost and it will instead of propelling you forward it will propel you up but since you are also making a dive maneuver it will also make you move like it will feel like moving backwards but what is actually happening is that you are looking starting to look behind as you are propelled uh, from the ground so yeah that's about it uh, speaking of my flight style I will often fly around the ground. I mean, you will not see me much in the high in the air, unless I'm in a liberator. I'm, I prefer to go high. <laughs> and oh, I'm gonna fly till I die. So I hope you enjoy the rest of this footage. It's gonna be mostly combat. I'm gonna try to like push the limit, push my limit of how low I can fly and how dangerous maneuvers I can pull off so that uh, there will be enough in the recording for you to see which keys I'm pressing Oh, can I pass through here? Oh, I didn't know I could pass through here I do mistakes also, so that's, I hope, understandable. <laughs> but yeah, uh, during a dogfight, these maneuvers can come in handy. I certainly hope watching me play is also a little bit going to benefit you, especially with this like, mouse. I don't know how beneficial it's going to be, but well, for this video, I'm doing my best. Uh, there's also a link like here if you want to watch a longer gameplay video of me with this setup and please give me your uh, feedback on what difference can I can I can make to make this thing more pleasurable to you for you in the air. so yeah uh, thank you for watching and see you in the battlefield
this place to vent. I'm just gonna record till I die, and after that, this will be finish. Enemy tanks are more vulnerable from behind, but this will, like, uh, you have to kind of go lower to their level. It will make you vulnerable, but if you are playing low and love flying low, you are gonna enjoy this very much. Generator stabilized. this pilot generator compromise feel bin you have my respects not often pilots go down I, mean, I only see them going down often is when they are chasing me. <laughs> ah, this is gonna... Instant karma! <laughs> Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. I hope this was entertaining. And see you in my next video. Bye-bye.